Today, most Ford chandeliers are wired for electricity. We've replaced the candles used in earlier times with decorative bulbs and lampshades. But a Ford chandelier still relies on traditional blacksmithing techniques and the hand assembly of components used in modern lighting fixtures. To build this two-tiered chandelier, the artisan begins by making the twist basket shape. First, he cuts lengths of steel bar with this shearing machine. He arranges six of those bars in a bundle, held firmly together by this welding fixture. He welds the bars together, leaving a hole in the center through which the wires will pass. A worker puts the bundle into a forge that softens the steel at about 1000 degrees Celsius. She then mounts the softened bundle in a twisting machine, securing it tightly in place. She turns the wheel, spiraling the bars together. Then she reverses the wheel, causing the center of the bundle to pop out, creating the twist basket design. She makes sure the shape is symmetrical. Then she verifies its length in a gauge. Next, they clean the basket with tiny steel beads in a process called bead blasting. Here, they make the J-shaped arms used for the upper tier of the chandelier from metal tubing which they shape in this rotary bending machine. With the same machine, they also make the S-shaped arms used for the lower tier of the chandelier. All the arms are hollow, which will allow wires to pass through them. A vibrating ceramic medium then polishes all the components that make up the chandelier to give them a smooth finish. Using a mounting fixture, a worker places the polished upper arms in what's called a distributor. He welds the arms to the distributor, which both supports them and gives them the proper alignment. He welds the lower arms to another distributor. Next, he welds metal tubing onto each end of the twist basket. This tubing makes it possible to connect all the decorative components. A worker then attaches those decorative components, which include a loop to hang the chandelier and an end cap that attaches to the distributor. She completes what is called the center core by tightening everything in place. Then they spray the upper and the lower arms as well as the center cores with powder coating, a finely ground plastic about the consistency of talcum powder. The center cores and arms then go into an oven where heat cures and bonds the powder coating, giving the parts a hard finish. A worker then connects the upper and lower tiers by fitting the distributors together. This hides the wiring connections. He secures the center core to the distributors using a decorative finial ball. He then puts candle sleeves on to hide the light bulb sockets and wires. The twist basket chandelier is now ready to brighten your day. Ford chandeliers help establish the mood of a room. They come in various styles, from classic to ultra-modern, and their designs are limited only by the artist's imagination.